So here we are, 22nd of May 2011. And uh, yeah, if you were one of those people who thought that yesterday, the 21st of May 2011, was going to be Judgment Day or the Rapture, then by now you will know that that simply isn't the case. Now, you know, I can just make this very easy and just say, I told you so, because I did. I posted videos before the event telling you in no uncertain terms that this would not happen. But that's, you know, just rubbing it in. What I would like you to do instead, instead of just, you know, accepting that I told you so, or on top of accepting that I just told you so, is ask yourself, ask yourself, if you were one of those people who were taken in by Harold Camping and his claims, ask yourself what made you decide at some point in the past as you were listening to that man spouting his unadulterated bull nonsense that you were going to believe him on what basis did you decide that you were going to believe his claims that yesterday was going to be judgment day that yesterday this supposed rapture was going to take place and it's important that you do this it's important that you ask yourself why you were taken in by this why did you allow yourself to be convinced by Harold Camping or anybody else who makes claims like that for example William Tapley here on YouTube is claiming has already claimed that World War 3 would start in October 2010 and we all know that that didn't happen but he is now claiming that there will be more significant events on the 11th of September of this year because some comet or other is going to go through the ecliptic uh, no, that's not going to happen either. So let me be perfectly blunt about that. It is not going to happen. And I can be so certain about this. There is no absolute certainty in the world, but I can be certain beyond any reasonable doubt that this is not going to happen. Why? Because this man is trying to tell you that he can calculate on the basis of the scantest of data with extreme accuracy that something significant is going to happen on a particular date when if you have any sort of sense of the sort of data that this man has at his disposal which is pretty much nothing and the sort of events that he's talking about the sort of processes that he's making his declarations about then you know that he's talking about chaotic processes over which he can have no knowledge at that level of certainty it's completely and utterly impossible and that is why i can be so certain whenever somebody like william tapley or harold camping or any other joker like that makes one of their doom and gloom claims one of their predictions of the end of the world or judgment day or the rapture or any other such nonsense i can state with complete confidence like I said, beyond any reasonable doubt, that it ain't gonna happen. It didn't happen. I told you that William Tapley's events weren't going to happen. I told you that Harold Camping's event wasn't going to happen. And they didn't. So if you are the sort of person who is taken in by claims of prophecy, then I would nearly have to claim that I'm the greater prophet here because I, my predictions have come true. Of course, I would make no such claim. I wouldn't be so stupid. I am just somebody who looks at the data, looks at the claims that are being made, and knows from looking at the information that's available to me that the person making the claim is talking out of the wrong orifice. And so should you. And that is why it is important that you should ask yourself, why did I allow myself to be taken in by this con artist? whether it's Hallard Camping, or William Tapley, or Weatherbill, or any other prophet of doom and gloom. Why did you allow yourself to be taken for a ride? It is very simple, really. You look at claims that other people are making. And of course, it is perfectly valid to say that truth is a personal thing that we all have our own truths, that we all experience our own truth, 
with regard to reality. But this is not about personal truth, is it? These are claims that those people are making about other people, namely you, me and the rest of humanity. So these are not personal truths that are something that you know every person has to decide for themselves. These are claims about reality that you and I should be able to verify. You did not bother to verify the claims that Harold Camping was making and that's how you got taken in. Now you can continue to allow yourself to be taken in by con artists like that. Or you could maybe start realizing that there is some value to be had in being skeptical when people make claims like that.